this is Julie. And this is Martin. And we live full time on our 58 foot narrowboat home, Rhapsody in Blue. We're taking you along as we continuously cruise the canals and rivers of the UK with some beautiful scenery, occasional wildlife, landmarks, aqueducts and tunnels. Come with us. Martin, what did you do the other day? Martin? Um, I drew some diesel out of the back tank just for the front heating tank and I noticed I was picking up a little bit of crap or dirt or something like that so we're not too sure yeah just to be safe and sorry we thought while we was here and we know fellows that does it we thought we might as well get it done and um you know safe and sorry really yeah. i don't want so any what problems. we're actually getting done is <laughs> uh fuel we're, polishing yeah we're gonna get our fuel cleaned you know what i mean it's okay. the first time i've ever noticed it but i did drop the jiggle pipe part of the way down uh -huh. so i just drawing out some from my diesel side so yeah i know but what had actually happened was when martin took some diesel from our main tank at the back um, to put into the reflex stove tank at the front he'd inadvertently put the pipe right to the bottom of the tank and this drew up a load of sludge and muck and we couldn't rule it out as being diesel bug so we needed to get it checked out straight away so this is Dell, oh, and, yeah. and he's going to tell us what he's doing as he does it. <laughs> Hopefully. All right. Okay. So what we're going to do first? These are the filters. Yeah. The Raycor 2020 TM Aquablock filter, 10 micron. And what we're going to do is we're going to uh, prime the machine first, and yep. then we're going to put the lance into the bottom of the tank. So if there's any water in the tank, uh, the water always sits at the bottom. It separates from the diesel and we'll suck all that up if there's any water in there and then what we'll do is we'll stop the machine, drain the water from the uh, from the centrifuge yeah. and then we'll start the main clean to get the sediment out of the bottom of the tank and to uh, clean the fuel. Brilliant, uh, thank you. Yeah, we filled up, where did we fill? Oh, Heritage, yeah. Heritage Marina we filled up. Oh right, oh they've got, they've got boat fleet there aren't they so it yes. turn, in, turn yes. over quite quickly so. mm -hmm. yes they all they got a full set from us they, we bought a gas bottle <laughs> we filled up with fuel we had a pump out and they let us get rid of some rubbish <laughs> turkey for christmas this year so though. full set yeah <laughs> We're always really conscious to keep our tank full so that we don't allow any condensation or any moisture or water to get into our system. But having seen that sludge in our diesel, we just knew we had to get it checked. All right, so this is going to prime the system. Okay. You see it on the, if you're better off if you come round here, you'll see the bowls. Okay. <laughs> see the bottom? Yes. Oh, I see. That's uh, those bowls are a central fuse. They spin the they spin the diesel to remove the uh, water because the water is heavier than the diesel, so it spins out and then it collects in the bottom. Oh, that's clever. And then the aqua block filters in here they they collect all the uh, the fine particles. That's all clever stuff. And that's why it's really important to use aqua block filters when you're uh, filtering diesel. Right. Otherwise, you don't get 100% of the water out. So how often should this be done? Seriously? Uh, I would say with the state of the diesel these, these years, I would think, I will say it's like a maintenance thing really. It's like changing your oil on your engine and I would advise it every time, you know, every four years about the same as your boat safety. Right. Um, because your fuel is only as clean. I mean, I can clean your fuel now and it'd be clean and you can go and fill up somewhere and if their fuel isn't clean that they're putting in your boat, then you know you've got the problem again haven't you so right i see so every four years well that's easy to remember martin yeah, we because BSS we've just now. had the bss so yeah perfect yeah so i had rung around and got some horrendous quotes five to six hundred pound possibly more yeah. depending how many filters could be as much as 900 to a thousand pound so how much is this going to cost us uh, this is £200, including two filters. Wow. Well, there's a difference. Yeah. Well, and I'm you're a... doing exactly the same as what they would have done. Yeah. I'm, yeah. A, I'm a roving trader. I'm a boater. Yeah. Looking after boaters. So I don't, I'm not out to rip people off. Just I yeah. make a few quid out of it. And yeah. 
people get their tanks cleaned. Yeah, and I shall put your details on the screen too. Thank you very much. Right, so what we're going to do basically, the lance is in there, it's on the bottom, so if yep. there's any water in there, we'll suck the water up. You'll see it in the turbines. Mm -hmm. I'll switch this one off for now actually, so this one will spin it a bit better, a bit faster. Yep. And then it'll, you'll see like clear and then red, so as it goes up, as the water goes up. But to be honest with you, I don't think you're going to have water in there. Um, so let's get everything on. No, the stuff that Martin managed to drag up with a jiggle pipe was like... Um, sludge. It was, yeah, sludge. How many of these do you normally do? What, fuel cleans? Yeah. It varies, really. Just, uh, you know, I'm a roving trader and... It's a bigger problem now. A lot of people are getting uh, problems with the fuel. There's a, the biodiesel and the fuel is the problem. Well, just suck it all up and block, not looking forward to it. Block <laughs> the uh, machine. <laughs> right, so that's done, that's done, that's on. That's on. So does it that's suck on. the diesel the diesel out from the bottom? Yeah. And then goes through the filters and then it goes back in, straight yeah, back what, in, what yes? What happens is it comes in through the suction hose yeah. on a vacuum system. It comes round, goes down into the manifold, uh, and then you've got the two filters on here, the two mm -hmm. turbines. Um, I usually do them one at a time, uh, that way you get a better turbine. Yeah. So I'll turn one off for now, and when that one blocks up, then I start using this one. Okay. Um, what happens then, it goes in, you've got a, the big uh, cylindrical filter in there, the big stuff drops down to the bottom, and the water drops down to the bottom here, and goes around on the turbine, and also the, uh, the fine stuff basically goes through the filter, and that goes to the clean part of the filter, and then it comes out the back, and it goes to the pump, and, and then it's returned to the um, to the tank, so there's no diesel oh, right. wastage. Oh, okay. Apart from about five, six liters, which you used to prime initially prime the machine. Yeah, brilliant. Okay. All right. We're ready. You don't want to look at this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you do, you can't, you won't We're ready. Well, this, so this is oh, yeah. going to be right. okay. possibly That's twenty years. Worst oh, of marking the bottom <laughs> of the well, we tank. Don't so we, we don't know if it's been done, done or not, done. you know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you, you want to keep an eye out. Yes. It's this pipe here, yeah, because this is a suction pipe. You'll see all the black coming along here. Okay. Okay. And then, the, so you're looking for here, yes. down this pipe here. And, and at the also bottom. Also in the bottom yes. of this one, because we're going to use this one first, okay? Yep, okay. So this one's just going to be stagnant. This one's going to be. Uh, right, I'm ready. All, all, all the all <laughs> stuff's going to come through there. Right, let's go. So keep an eye out there. Okay. We're just so sucking clean diesel because I just take it off the bottom. Clean. That's okay at the moment. So, put it also on the bottom. Well, I can see it spinning now at the bottom so, there, yeah. If we've got any water, mm -hmm. that should suck the water. So, we'll leave it there for a second. Okay. I think we haven't got any water, so we're okay. I can see bits in it though. There's a few bits that's picked up, but that's nothing. Have a look in a minute. Okay. Right, if you had water in there, it would have sucked. We would have started separating going up the water will start going up the, the bowls. So, so are I'm we gonna, on the bottom of the tank? Yeah, not? so what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna to agitate to the bottom of the tank with the uh, with the lance. So if you look at the down here. Oh my goodness, I can see the difference. Oh I know, look at the five. Difference in colour. Oh, look down wow. the bottom. And down the bottom, it's a completely different colour. Oh yeah. <laughs> so we definitely needed it doing. Yeah. Big problem on lower boat. Oh wow. <laughs> that's that then. Just let that catch up. If you get too carried away. You'll See that looks quite up. clear now on there. Yeah. Yeah, but, I'm, I'm just going to leave it now. When you ready. agitate it, yeah. yeah I'm, otherwise I'll overload it. See. So let it get going again. Oh, look at that. Ugh. I dread to think the colour of this. This filter when you're finished. <laughs> Lovely. So it's gone red again, so he's now going to agitate it a bit more. Oh, look! <laughs> Yuck! It's not too bad, I've seen a lot worse. We're in the far side of the tank now. That's it, coming through. Yeah, it? look. Yeah. Oh yeah. If you go around the back of the machine, you can put sun lights on it, you can actually see all the bits going round. Let's come round the other side then. <laughs> see the sediment building up in the bottom? Oh my gosh, yeah. Oh yeah. 
Oh, look at that. So uh, good agitated. Uh, so there. Right. You're starting the other one? Yeah. So now we've got both of them going. Oh, yeah. Well, it obviously definitely needed doing. You could see it coming out. So this is not diesel bug? No, no, this is sediment. We'll have this a look is... in the filters in a minute. Okay. If it's smiling, it looks bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he just jiggled it and look, it's gone really cloudy. What, what happens is, what, what people do is they, they'll put in the, the bio yeah, side, you know which is, um, yeah. it kills the, uh, the diesel bug, like Marine 16, yeah. full set. Um, if they put too much in, um, it blocks the, um, you get what's called sticky injector. Right. And it knackers your injectors up on, on the engine. Right. So it's always put in the correct measurements to, in relation to the amount yep. of diesel you put in. Okay. Um, and then what happens if you've got diesel bug, people say, well, if you get diesel bug, you don't need the fuel feed, just put the treatment in and it will kill the bug. But what happens then is that the bug will decompose and go as like a sediment into the bottom of the tank. Right. And then um, you'll start picking up the, the dead bug in the sediment form and block, that'll block the filters as well. Right. So if you get diesel bugs, you always need to have your tank clean. There's no getting out of it. Right. So, okay. Oh yeah, the joys are both in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Living the dream, as they say. So is this, would there be any rust in this? Um, if you've got water in your tank and you leave it in your tank for a long time because the water sits in the bottom of the tank, it will start um, rusting out the bottom of your tank. Okay. If you haven't got any water, so there'll be no rust in there. Okay. So. Right, so <laughs> looks like we're nearly finished. Last jiggle. Yeah, I think that'll do us. Yep, cool. Doesn't seem to be doing anything else no, now. No, so it's coming out now. Yep. It's been uh, quite brilliant. Oh, you don't realise how noisy that is till it goes off. <laughs> <laughs> right, for the big reveal. Yes, let's have a look. Let's have a look at one of the filters. That's the main one, isn't it, yeah. that you've got there? Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> let's see what we got out. Don't look, Martin, don't look. I don't like this, I think stuff anyway. Ooh. Ooh. It's a bit of muck, isn't it? That's not, that's not too bad compared to that one that you've got in your pot over there. But, oh yeah, there is some muck Yeah, in yours, yours wasn't too bad. I mean, it needed doing, but it wasn't too bad. I've done so, a was there any diesel bug present? Uh, not at the that. moment, but there might have been in the past, and you've killed it with the uh, additive. So, oh right, okay. So, which causes the sediment. So. Right, okay. Yeah. Cool, brilliant. All right. So we're all finished, and we've now got to put some of this into the fuel, into the fuel tank. Um, and as he's just told us, we must use the correct amount, um, unlike what we were told when we bought it, just stick the whole lot in. Apparently that can do more damage than good. So we're gonna work out the uh, amount. We're gonna let the diesel settle, so we'll probably do it in the morning to be fair. We're gonna let it settle, and then we're gonna put the correct amount of this in. Uh, so I'm gonna do 250 mil, yeah? Yeah, so we've got 250 liters. Roughly, you know. And it's one mil per yeah, so. liter, so. One mil per hundred, I suppose. Two hundred and fifty mils there should be two hundred and fifty. All right. Let's have a look. That yeah, line so there. Two hundred and fifty mil. Yeah. Going into a two hundred and fifty litre tank. Tank. Well, we've worked it out that you've worked it out that there's two hundred and fifty yeah, litres in there, the isn't it? We've got we've got diesel coming tomorrow, so. Yeah. So I need to pour it into. Yeah. Yeah, just to be safe and sorry, Martin's put a funnel. And he's now going to tip 
that straight into the fuel tank. Brilliant. Well done. All right. I'll show you. So you never overdo it, do you? Never put too much in because no. of what Dale said. Later that day, Martin checked both fuel filters on the engine and they were spot on. So we thought we were fine. This isn't looking right, is it? So I think we're going to have to take this apart as well. Never mind. I need to be. Okay. I need to be out there. Look. Oh dear. So this is why the uh, yeah. fire wasn't burning properly. No. <clears throat> we thought we might have got away with it, but. Uh, Obviously not. Oops. Yeah, definitely oops. So what we're going to do, we're going to have to bleed it through. Yeah, I'm just want to get the... The filter doesn't look too bad. I'm just going in that one there. That's okay. It. So, yeah. So even though Martin had muck. stopped as soon as he saw the muck in the uh, jiggle pipe when he was putting the fuel in from the back to the front, we had still oh, managed to get some oh, in the front tank. And yes, yeah. it was a long clean-up job. Oh dear. Looks like we're going to have to run the diesel through <coughs> until it comes clear. That's not good, is it? It is now. Coming through clear? Yep. I'll just keep running it a little bit more. I'm not sure it's just... Right, at the moment that's running clear, yeah? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because that was just that little bit that was in the bottom of the I'm take dish. this off, just make sure what's in the top of this. Yeah. Just going to have a look and see what's in that little reservoir thing. Yeah. It should hold on. That's just the control unit, we're not worried about that. This is all what we've got to get rid of, is all this. Oh dear, so it's all sitting in there. Yeah. <coughs> so right. Think, right, hold it. We couldn't believe just how much was in there. And believe it or not, it took three goes at doing this before we got it right. Mm Um, Andy, Andy bought us, isn't it? Yes. There you go, Andy. Thanks, Andy. You're a lifesaver. <laughs> Little 12 volt pump. That is amazing. That has cleared out all that muck. So we just checked that the diesel is now running clear. Martin's put the filter in and he's now putting this little bowl thing all back together. I'm in. I'm going to just check the, what is it, the, um, oh. You're going to check the wasp filter, aren't you? The filter in on the actual tank itself. Yeah. So this is what was in our fire. <laughs> Thankfully, Martin's managed to get it all out. So the next filter is that one there 
Martin's got to take that apart and get any muck that's been <coughs> collected <coughs> in there. Excuse me. <coughs> this is the inline wasp filter that comes from the tank at the front and filters the fuel before it gets down to the reflex stove. Right. What we're doing is unscrewing it here. Mm -hmm. That's all I'm going to do. Just so we don't contaminate anything. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's blocking up the um, holes to the outside. flat tray mm -hmm. done. You want me to go and get that? And the bottle. There's a little tiny bit in that bit. So mm -hmm. what we're going to do. So Martin's tipping it from the top. Being careful yeah. not to get any of that sediment that's in the bottom. Ah. Bottom. So we wanted to make this video so that nobody else makes the same mistake we did. If you're taking diesel from your main back tank to put into a separate tank, whatever you do, don't ever put the pipe right down to the bottom because you will pull up sludge and it causes no end of issues to wherever you're going to use that diesel next. So you're washing the filter out in clean diesel, yeah? Is that what you're doing? Yeah. As you would the engine wasp filter. Yeah, basically the same thing. Yeah. Okay, so that didn't have too much in it. No, I did clean it out once before, but it looks mm. like it did get through. So. Yeah. Well, you did, you did clean it out yesterday, but you didn't think to do that big bowl thing that we've just cleaned out. I just want to make sure it's all right. Here we go, then it goes on there. Hopefully, the O ring still on there. Ring, it's not, it's found his O ring. So cleaning out the mucky diesel from the reflex stove actually took longer than having our main diesel tank polished. So uh, yeah, word of warning, please be careful when taking diesel out of your main tank. Yeah, that one. You see it there? Mm-hmm. And open it. There you go. And hopefully that will bleed through. And how do you know when it's done? You will know. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Oh, I see the, the diesel. Yeah. Started piddling out. So that's it. You've bled that up. Yeah. So now we should be getting diesel down to the stove. So thankfully, after three attempts, our reflex stove is now working fine again. Mm -hmm. 
We would highly recommend Dale from Nielsen Boats. He's really fair. He tells you what he's doing at all stages and you can see the results straight away. But seriously, if you don't know when your fuel was last polished or cleaned, then it, it would really be advisable to get it done. Obviously, this was an extra expense, something that we hadn't budgeted for. But that is part of boating, unfortunately. These things do happen. But £200, a couple of hours of time for peace of mind, in our minds, is money well spent. We can now rest assured that our engine is safe, at least for now anyway. We hope you've enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Um, we, we're not trying to scare anybody, but just, you know, better to be safe than sorry, eh? Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell and leave us a comment. We answer every single one. See you next time. Bye.